Good morning. Morning. It's quite a chilly one this morning, hence the hats and the gloves and everything are on. It's very bright, but it's very brisk. I need a nose warmer. And yeah, Katrina needs to knit herself a nose warmer. No, Mum, can you do that, please? So you join us on the towpath just outside of Braunston, uh, where it's been an absolutely lovely evening. It's so peaceful around here, apart from the cows on one side, the, the ducks the other and the side. ducks. Oh yeah, they're loud. <laughs> They were but, right noisy this morning, but that's okay, it's all part of the fun. I love it here, it's so gorgeous. So hopefully the weather stays like this yes, today, it'll be lovely. And we're going to head off towards Rockby direction. And it is the Coventry Canal by the way. No it's oh. not, it's the Oxford Canal. I forgot, I looked it up and I've already forgotten. <laughs> yeah. It's the canal that it's goes a canal. from Gornston and then there's an arm that carries off to Coventry. Let's roll the intro. Hi, I'm Lee. And this is my girlfriend Katrina, and we both live full time on our 60 foot narrowboat boom called Narrowboat Cura Vida. We invite you to join us as we cruise along the UK's river and canal networks. And if you enjoy our videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I just realised we've been doing quite a lot of filming and driving and cruising and I haven't really spoken to you guys much on this trip. It's all just been like a music video. Me too, why you need to talk? Skipper's going a bit wonky. Ah, this is the, uh, there's a marina coming up on the right where there's alpacas. <gasps> ah. Alpacas. It's absolutely gorgeous by the way around here. The, the weather is beautiful. A bit chilly, hence the hat. But um, it's really sunny and it's just it's just lovely. Splash up. We saw our packers. Well, I just realised with all this beautiful scenery and lovely cruising, we haven't spoken too much. What's to say? Saw our packers. Saw our packers. It's very busy today. There's boats everywhere. The weather's so nice, I think. It's so, it's just so bright and sunny. I think Lovely. it's like the canal equivalent of Sunday drivers. So everybody's out that doesn't normally go out. That's like, okay though. This gives us more to see, more to do, more to think about. Yes, keep having to stop and squeeze and stuff. Interesting maneuvers. But we're just coming up to the edge of um, rugby. Rugby, yeah. So we've got a few locks coming up shortly. So we managed to be lock free now for quite some time. Great, we've made loads of miles, but uh, locks are coming. So, we're just coming into the town of Rugby. 
certainly in the outskirts of it anyways. I'm pretty sure, I can't quite tell from here, but I'm pretty sure there's some locks coming up very shortly. Just coming up to Hill Morton Locks. Three locks, single, well, sort of single. They're two singles side by side, but we're just going to use one, obviously. So that's nice and easy. So Hill Morton Locks, here we go. Well that was easy, that's Hill Morton locks done, all three of them, there's a lock keeper, we had two lock keepers helping, but they're just single locks, so compared to compared to the double locks that we've been doing for the past god knows how long, tiny. single locks are tiny and just so much easier, <laughs> so much easier. And that is us now, lock free until Nuneaton, which is miles away, here. there's one lock as we pass Coventry, just one single lock with about one foot of um, water difference and I think that back in the day that was a, um, a flood lock more than a, oh, a natural lock lock. When they took money. Yeah, toll lock. So that's what I meant. I said flood, I meant toll. So now it's just more beautiful cruising for another quite a few more hours, maybe even days. Great. somewhere to moor unsuccessfully because the bank's no good for mooring and then we're coming up against the tunnel with a boat coming through it's a busy tunnel even even better ah, I'm gonna reverse and let these boats through and then we'll go in afterwards hmm. we're in the woods <laughs> we've decided not to go through the tunnel because yet. yet we're going we are going to obviously but um, there's a cop just behind me so I'm going to shoot to the cop and get some some supplies and then it's through the tunnel and find somewhere to moor because it's getting cold. Yeah, and we're getting quite like dark. dark. I think it might be getting a bit... It's only about four o'clock, yeah. it's not late. 
No, right, I better grab some bags. <laughs> and shopping was successful. Got some bits and pieces. Went to the post office. And now we're off. We're just going to find, we're just before the tunnel, just about to go through the tunnel. There's the skip skip. And then we're going to find a place to move. New bold tunnel. I don't know why it's new bold. It's probably not that, it's probably not that new. It's quite large. It's not very long. How long is it, Skip Skip? Um, from here to there. From here to there long. We're being a bit naughty. We don't have our tunnel light on. Because there's not much point. And also it's under the cover at the front, so it means going forward and undoing all the cover and everything else, but yeah. That's why I'm Little sign about the tunnel that nobody can read because the writing's too small. And we're in, it's a fairly modern tunnel. That's cute. I like that um, fuel thing. I like these boats as well. This is a cool boat. <gasps> Hector. I'm sure we saw a Hector the other day. So that's a higher boat. That's nice. Yeah. We're struggling to find moorings. There's nowhere to moor. So there's a lovely canal. It's just the bank is very shallow. There's no armco or nothing. We don't have a and bank. it's very overgrown. So uh, we press on. We might be nighttime cruising at this point. <laughs> this is what I mean about the towpath bank being a little overgrown and hard to moor up on. It's all as you can see, and that side is non tow path. That particular bit's not too bad, but it's been like that most of the time. <laughs> oh, some boats coming, better slow now. found a mooring. It's a lovely mooring. It's an mooring. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> Not got a clue. Not a scooby-doo. It's only half past five. We've been cruising for about five and a half hours. That's a long cruise. For us it's quite a long time. We normally do about four. We're quite hungry. It's not that cold anymore, bizarrely. <laughs> it was freezing all day and as the sun's gone down it's warmed up. Wind's died down or yeah. something, I don't know. But there's a lovely sunset. You can't see it, we're looking at it. Yep. <laughs> You'll see it in a second, I'll show you in a sec just as we sign off. Speaking of which, we're going to shoot off down below and get some food. Thank you very much for joining us on today's chilly but very sunny cruise. Oh, so lovely. It's been it's been lovely, yeah. We've done quite a few more miles than we normally would because we've cruised for a bit longer. We were planning to stop earlier, but we didn't want to stop in Rugby itself. And then as soon as you leave Rugby, there's no moorings for an hour and a half. Mm. So that's why we've pushed on a bit more. But there's also no locks, so which is great for me. But it just means we've covered quite a few miles today, actually. I don't know how many, because I don't know where we are. No idea. Tired now, though. It's a fair Sorry. few. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tune in. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Just
on the canal, the, on the Oxford Canal. With... Oh. Oh. I'll tell you what, I'm going to delete this.